So, Webflow have just released another enhancement. They keep releasing these enhancements, keep them coming, and this one's for website management. Basically, they're going to allow you to streamline your 3 own redirect management with CSV support. What does that mean? Well, let's dive into it. So, if we go to our settings in a project and go to publishing, we've got this little section called 301 redirects, and I won't go into exactly what 301s are all about. You can Google that yourself. But in essence, what I need to do is provide an old URL and a new URL. So the old URL is a URL that I want or has existed before. And now I want people to be right, redirected to the new URL. So previously, um, and this hasn't changed much at all really, is that what I do, I click on add and I say, okay, do you know what? I had a URL which was slash about. And now we are going to change that to about us. Nice simple change, but pretty important. And we go add redirect path. So it's been saved and it will now I now have to publish my site for that to take effect. Now that's easy enough. But imagine doing this for hundreds of pages, even thousands of pages when you're dealing with um, CMS collections. It's pretty laborious to just add at the same time add type save so before today what you could what you had to do to sort of do this on bulk was use a chrome extension by uh, created by finsuite to bulk import as as the button says here lovely labeling of a button saying what it does on the tin um so what happens is you click on bulk import and you drag in a csv and in that csv you've got to you have a a column for the old path and a column for the new path so i'll just download the template quickly and we'll go and have a look at what's in here so let's import so we're going to have a look in here it's relatively straightforward let's create a new spreadsheet Okay, so as you can see, they put some examples in here. So what it means is that I can now do these in bulk. I'm actually going to just leave these in here. So we want old path one going to new path one. Interestingly, and this is just more of a semantics, is if we look here, we've got old path and new path, whereas in the spreadsheet, it's just got path and target path. So maybe those could be labeled differently. Maybe Webflow will label them differently in, in their solution. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to download this. We, we haven't made any changes, but I'm just going to go through the process here. We've downloaded this. And then in here, I just click bulk import and then take that sheet. It shows me what is going to be added to. And then I go upload. And it even has a nice little tick, 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 showing me how much progress. And imagine you had lots of sites here, uh, lots of URLs. It also gives me a little summary here. 10 was successful, zero failed. And it even says when closing the window, the page will reload to make sure Webflow's UI is updated. Super straightforward, very helpful, very intuitive actually. So I close that. And as it told me, it's going to refresh the page. And if I go down to my 301s, there are all my 301s. So what if I wanted to do this with Webflow? Well, if you think about here, I've got all these paths here plus about and about us. So I've done this job. I previously did it with a, with a site, imagine. And now Webflow released this feature. So what do I want to do? I want to put in, I want to put in the paths of 11 to 20. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go here and I'm just going to duplicate those. Well, that was easy. Okay, and with the FinSuite one, I can just delete these ones here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just download. Okay. And then go in here, bulk import again. Got the second one here. Shows me which ones to do. And I upload them. Okay. That's brilliant. So let's go and upload them quickly. This might seem like it. I'm. Um, um, telling you how to suck eggs here, but I'm just doing this just to show you an interesting um, difference between the way FinSuite does it and the way Webflow do it. So all these paths are now added, okay? So what I'm going to do is just 
delete these quickly because um, this is something that FinSuite do doesn't allow you to do in bulk is delete elements. So I want to delete all of these. This is a very annoying little pop-up is coming on the top here. I'm going to delete all of these. Okay. And we're back to square one. Okay. Now, notice we've still got the about and the about us. Even though we didn't import those, they're still there. Because what FinSuite do is add in extra. They don't override. So let's do this on Webflow. So let's go import. So and we'll import the same template. Yes, it has a header. Now we get a little warning. To be honest, it's not that, <laughs> you know, this exclamation mark could be a little bit more aggressive, I think. Overrides existing redirects. Portfolio already has 11 redirects and they'll be overwritten if you import this file. Okay, so I if I'm to do this, I have to overwrite. So what, what does that mean? Well, let's go and have a look. I'm going to import. Import in progress. We'll send an email. I can check my emails later and there'll be lots of things. Anyway, it's happened. It's, it's there we go. So th they put all these new paths. So 11 to 13. I'm not sure why that's in a it's different order. Not, not that it matters, but they've got rid of all the other ones. So one to 10 have now gone and the about has now gone. And actually there's no way of me getting those back. I don't know where they are. I've never downloaded them. They were done, you know, for, for argument's sake, they were done months ago. This is an issue. This means that my marketing team are going to be pretty annoyed with me because I've just lost a lot of work that someone else has done. So the only way to safeguard against this is to never import unless you have exported using the, um, the web flow. So if I go export, I'll get a download. I don't know why it just doesn't download it automatically. I don't need a notification to say download. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to import this. And okay, create new spreadsheet. Open that. So now what I have to do, I have to leave these here. And instead, I have to add in any new additions. So I'm just going to put one there and one there. And I wonder if it will do it for me. Yep, there we go. Okay, so now I download this one. In fact, I need to put the about us in as well, don't I? About goes to about us. Download this. Okay, and then go to import and import that. Yeah, yeah. Interesting, there's no like checklist, there's no... Oh, an error occurred. Click to download and review errors. Okay, so now I need to go back into... Um, oh, and see my errors. Okay, interestingly, I've never seen this before. I wonder what this error report will give me. This error report, invalid redirect target. Okay. Don't know what. Don't know what's invalid about it. Um. Anyway, yeah, there we go. Not great, to be honest. I'm going to stick with FinSuites. I probably will use the export, but I'm very dubious about using the import in the new FinSuite and the new Webflow um, tool. So if FinSuite, if you're listening, you're probably not, but please do not retire your bulk import tool because actually it's really, really useful because it does things that the Webflow one doesn't do. Um, and Webflow, if you're listening, um, please can you revisit this UX because 
it is a little janky. It's not as good, in my opinion. It obviously, it allows for deleting on bulk, but it doesn't do the import, and it doesn't have the the slick UX that the the Chrome extension that FinSuite have has as well in terms of showing you progress, um, telling you what's going to happen next, all those kind of things. I know you've got the little notifications come up here, but one they're annoying, and uh, two they appear and disappear, and that's not great. So. Um, yeah, so that's a rundown on that new feature. It's giving with one hand and taking with another, in my opinion. But um, anyway, all all updates are good updates, and they can be evolved on as as we go through the um, new releases in the coming months. So, thanks for listening.